Hey fellow tennis nerds, welcome to this Bubblelot RPM Power string review. Bubblelot RPM Power is a new, softer, somewhat more powerful poly string. It is definitely a lot more uh, comfortable than RPM Blast and, and RPM Blast Rough. So this is a very comfortable string. I strung it up in my Bubblelot soft drives, the rackets I normally use these days for any kind of competitive play and string testing and um, I really enjoyed it. I've been playing with this string for about 10 hours, probably a bit more. It started moving a little bit but it's still really nice and controlled for a powerful string uh, that offers more comfort. Usually when you have a more comfortable and powerful string you're gonna get some durability issues and it's gonna start moving a bit quicker, lose some tension. I didn't feel that with this string so much. I was really happy with it for uh, quite a long duration so this is a definitely, definitely a string I will consider using as a tournament string in the future because I like it this much. The only issue I really had with this string was stringing it. It's really brassy to the touch, made a lot of squeaky noises when I was stringing it. Some people think that it's the same with the Pro Hurricane Tour and uh, this one is even worse I think. It is really squeaky, was a bit tricky to string. Once it was had settled in the racket it played really nice and comfortable. Not so lively as I would have thought perhaps. It, uh, it feels a bit like a you know, brassy copper string but it's definitely a lot more comfortable than that. It comes with a, some kind of coating that makes the string snap back into place and creates a really nice spin effect. I wouldn't say it's a spin monster, but uh, nice control, nice spin, very good comfort. Just a really um, nice string option for players who are looking for a bit more liveliness, a bit more um, comfort and you don't want to play with these ultra stiff strings. So I think Bubla did a really nice job here. I've been playing with this quite a lot. I only got one uh, set for test so that's why I haven't tried it in several other rackets which I normally do but uh, the soft drive is a racket I know really well and um, I think this string worked brilliantly in that racket and it has quite an open string pattern so if it's durable in this kind of racket it's probably going to be very durable in a 98 square inch, 95 square inch or whatever you might use. So really nice string, has a lot of uh, a nice blend of properties. I tested the 1.25 gauge of um, RPM power and I strung it at around 25 kilos or 55 pounds. I usually like to bump up the tension a bit with these lively strings and uh, also in the soft drives because they have quite a lot of this natural spin because they open string pattern. All in all very happy with this string except for the stringing process. Has some nice coating that really creates the snapback. Offers good comfort. I think above average durability for a power string. If you hit with massive amounts of top spin and you, you hit heavy ground strokes maybe the durability will suffer a bit more and you would need a more control oriented string such as RPM Blast perhaps or uh, Luxlum 4G. But for my kind of game, which is a little bit more flat, uh, but still using this quite open pattern racket. I think it worked brilliantly, it's one of the best strings I've tried in a few years and uh, so I was really happy with this string. One thing to note is that the price is a little bit about average, I mean today you can get pretty high quality poly strings for below 10 bucks or 10 euro, whatever currency you might have, but this one is up to around 17 euros or dollars listed price. So it's a bit more expensive, a bit more premium. Bubblelot strings are usually a bit more expensive, same, same as Luxalon. They do offer really high quality strings though, So, uh, but the competition in the string marketplace is tough. So uh, we'll see how this one does. Some might not like the electric brown color, it's kind of like a shimmery brown color. It's not like a fantastic looking color, but for me the color of the string is not very important. I know to some players it is, but I guess the reasoning was that brown would look okay in whatever racket might not look spectacular, but at least it's gonna look okay. Very nice string from Bubblelot, nice comfort, good power, decent control, offered pretty much everything I want out of a string. I think it was durable enough for my game at least. And if you're a big hitter and uh, hit with heavy topspin, you might need a more durable string. But for my game and for most rec players, I think this would do absolutely fine. Except the stringing process, which was a bit of a, a headache. But uh, not too bad anyway, if you're a pretty uh, seasoned stringer. 
Thanks for watching this Tennis Nerd string review. If you like this kind of content, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You should also check out Tennis Nerd on Instagram with the handle Tennis Nerd Insta and also Twitter and Facebook, of course. If you need racket and string advice, you should check out our racket consultation service that we offer in the Tennis Nerd shop, tennisnerd.net slash shop. You can also get more content on our Patreon page where you support Tennis Nerd and you get at least two unique posts every week. It's only two bucks a month, so I hope you really find it worth your while and it means a lot. Thanks, have a nice day, and don't forget to play some tennis.